What's up, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. I do want to apologize for being late on the sneaker bot series. I've just been caught up with other videos that I thought should be out before this. Anyways, continuing on with the series, today we are going to talk about the servers, which in the easiest term, what a server is, is basically like another computer that's running through your computer. And you're probably asking, what's the purpose of this? The purpose is that servers could have way faster internet than your current computer. So for example, download speeds could go up to like a thousand and the upload speeds can go up to around the same. They're about the same sometimes, sometimes they're not, depending on the server and what you buy. Like I have Xfinity and my internet speed for download speed is like around 80 to 100 and sometimes even less, which is obviously a huge difference there. The speed does matter because that depends on how fast you get the shoe in your cart and how fast you check out compared to others and how fast your bot is trying to get the shoes. Your next question probably is, where can I buy these servers? Well, the two main servers that everybody uses are eBot servers and sneaker servers, and their pricings are a little different. I'm pretty sure that eBot servers are more expensive, but the price isn't really what matters. What comes in the packages is what matters, and they both basically have the same packages, just at different prices. So the servers you want to go with are servers that have at least four gigabytes of RAM and four CPUs. At least that's what's recommended by AMB. And of course, the more gigabytes you get and the more CPUs that you get, the more efficient your bot will work with that server. And in regards to the two servers that I mentioned, which were sneaker servers and eBot servers, I know sneaker server gives you the option to have 10,000 megabytes per second as your download speed, which is for a fee of $50. But in the end, it will be worth it because you do get the shoe and you do make your money back for big releases such as like Yeezys or any other shoe that resells for a high price or any shoe in general, depending on how many you get. Now your next question is probably, how do I set up the server? It's pretty easy to set it up. Usually when you buy the server, they tell you how to set it up and what you need. I know that when you buy a server from Sneaker Server, they tell you where to input the information that they give you for the server on your Windows, or they tell you where to download the app from, which is from the App Store on your Mac. They give you a username, a password, and then you name the server, and that's pretty much it. And then you can just open it from there, and usually they're valid for 30 days. You can also buy hourly ones, but I haven't done this, so I can't really tell you my experience with that, obviously. So that's why I'm only going off the 30 day ones. But to be honest, the hourly ones might be cheaper depending on how often you use these bots. But in my opinion, I think it's better to have the monthly servers just because you never know when a random lease might drop or a restock, so you can just have that in hand. From there, all you gotta do from the servers is download the bot that you have and then just run it. But in order to get more shoes, you need to get proxies, which we will get into next week, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. It's your bar sneakers. Make sure you stay woke. Our sneakers are now. Peace.